so we're gonna make this one quick on this one little part here and uh, that way I can be charging it while I'm taking everything apart we're back out here on this one uh, when I diagnosed the reversing valve um, well, I went ahead and I got the uh, outdoor TXV as well because this was an intermittent problem and uh, it only showed itself to me for maybe five or ten seconds and then I couldn't get it to do it again so uh, I posted the video called it a TX uh, T, uh, reversing valve failure but uh, a lot of guys uh, a lot of you guys let me know well you know it could be TXV and 19 pounds on this we're just going to go ahead and uh, replace both the reversing valve both the reversing valve and the outdoor TXV so let's get this thing getting them taking it apart and uh, we'll get some shots of it all right we are out here we got our pump on it I got me a new pump yeah this one's not near as good as the one I have though you can tell by how deep the vacuum goes my other one was a six they say this one's a seven yeah I don't believe it we're still coming down now so here's a new reversing valve that got put in also this was an intermittent problem and I couldn't really nail it down because it only showed me uh, a, a negative pressure on the low side before I put it in defrost I went ahead and just got the TXV valve I went ahead and replaced that TXV valve um, Also, I replaced the filter down there. It's an Emerson Buffalo. So, vacuum pump's coming down. We're gonna get the top on this, and we're gonna go grab a bite to lunch, bite something to eat, and uh, we'll be back. All right, I just wanted to. Uh, I didn't get a lot of footage of sweating in the valve or nothing, but. Um, I should have, but I didn't. Uh, unit up and going now. Our pressures were about 200 on the high side, uh, 70, 75, something like that on the on the suction. Uh, it's not as cold today. We're probably probably about 60 degrees out here now. So in cases like this, where it's an intermittent problem, we don't know exactly, we can't nail it down to exactly what it is, I will replace more than one thing. Um, because the problem is just not showing itself to me. Uh, so if I have an idea of one or two things that it is, I'll go ahead and replace both of those and I won't charge the customer for both. I'll just cart charge the customer for one part. Um, and uh, you know, a TXV only ended up being, I think, tax and all. I think a TXV was about a hundred dollars, a hundred and ten dollars. So, you know, not a lot. Uh, you know, comparatively, if I got it wrong and uh, had to re put, uh, put 20 pounds in and take it back out and put 20 pounds back in again, guys, that's a lot of Freon and uh. I'd rather just pay a hundred dollar TXV and uh, replace both the four-way valve and TXV and that way I know that we got it taken care of. You guys, no matter what you do, be safe. I burnt myself a couple times today, but uh, as if you're doing electrical, if you're doing anything like that, just be safe and uh, take your time. Be careful. No matter, no matter what the cost of the job, no matter how big the job is or anything, it's not worth you damaging your heart, damaging your body, or losing your life. I'm trying here, guys. Bear with me. 
these are. Slides off. Let's see, slide the boot off, and then it reveals the terminal there on the end. Now, don't don't yank on this wire, guys. Trust me. She's gonna come loose right there, and 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 this is a very very small wire in that center of this thing.